What's up guys? It's been a long month, stress as hell. There's no water to paddle, but the other ways that I relax are killing time making edits, cold drinks, and projects. So we'll see if this ever makes it onto the internet, but what I'm doing right now is I'm working on an old school delirious. Fun fact, this was designed by Kenny, who now makes Waka boats. And I am going to try to make a badass sleeper version of a beat up old delirious for my buddy Johnny, who used to be on the team. Along the way, I realized even though I have Wave Sport Project thigh hooks, Triple X thigh hooks, and even Contour thigh hooks, none of them are gonna freaking work. So I am going to try and cut the OG Wave Sport Triple X thigh hooks into a modern adjustable style thing. And I figured let's grab the camera because this would also work on RPMs and all of those older school boats where you have the one piece completely unadjustable thigh hooks. So maybe someone will get to do this. Maybe it'll just be something you guys enjoy watching. So let's see if it works. So this is the modern dagger contour thigh hook. This would be the left side, right? So it has a slot in the back, multiple holes for the fixed adjustment on the front, integrated ratchet, all that jazz. Here is the old school stuff, right? One piece, here's pocket, pocket for your thighs. One screw here, one screw here. Once it pins in, it's held by those on the foam block. Nothing at all adjustable. What I've done is I've come out and I've marked where if I cut it, I'll basically have the same functional shape as the contours. So what I'm going to do, because when I place it in here, the fitment is really no good, I'm going to give myself adjustability by cutting it out and then seeing if it fits in. If it doesn't work, spare parts and I relax for an afternoon. So here you go. This would be the right side, right? And there's the left. Now the reason I have it upside down on the cockpit rim is I can see that the inside edge going along is very close to the prion shape, but that outside edge in no way matches. So what I'm going to do is take this, flip it over, and basically figure out the inside depth of the cockpit rim and then cut just inside along that edge going in so that this sits nice and fully flush into the boat. So for those of you not getting what I'm talking about, here you go. Just total separation, especially on that front end because of that little curve right there. Bear in mind that most of you will never have to do this. This is purely a Alex is on a field day making random stuff, going to random stuff for the sake of random stuff. But if you ever wanted to do it, hopefully this works. So after figuring out that the depth I needed was about one knuckle, I eyeballed that and traced it all the way around. And uh, yeah, see what happens.
Okay, so backside is absolutely perfect. Front side needs a little bit of heat to open up. It's pinched too tight, but you know, this is starting to look like a, th a real thigh hook. Amazing. So that actually worked flawlessly to shape it to the new boat cockpit rim. I'm just gonna stand here and have a couple drinks and in a few minutes, this will be cooled to a perfect mold of the new cockpit rim. And then I'm actually just gonna wind up and come back here and do the same thing over here. It was, it was so easy and effective. Uh, and then it'll be perfect for this boat. So nice, it actually sits in place on its own. Completely formed in, slides, absolutely perfect. So gonna go try that on the other side and I think this is gonna work. Yeah, I mean, not, not dead on, but we're getting really close. Popped outside, now it's cooling down. You can really see if I show you the inside, how much I heated and reshaped this to fit the curve of the cockpit rim. Just, you know, heat shape, heat shape, get it to where it's sort of like putty and uh, try not to burn yourself, but got a really nice fit. The one thing I did screw up here is I really should have left another inch on this cut to let me drill through here somewhere for, uh, my slot so what i'm going to wind up doing is going piranha style through here which is not my favorite um and then the traditional one back here will wind up being a bunch of fixed drill holes which will be the fixed adjustments and up here will be a slot for the slide let's see if we make it happen pilot hole is right there drilled through and gave myself three holes on the inside, which reflect the full adjustment. These will connect and that's my slot. From there, we'll set this in the middle of the slot and start worrying about the holes over here. So you can see the silver dot right there. What I did was I looked around, you can see with the flashlight, the edge of that thigh hook all the way around the edge of the boat. The adjustment here is all the way forward. So now I'm gonna drill this through. I'm gonna slide this all the way back, drill again through the same hole, and I'll be able to see the line of travel on the thigh hook. That will let me then drill evenly spaced holes. Those will be the fixed adjustments. All drilled out. That silver line shows you my travel from hole to hole. So I will just measure out dead center between them and pop one, cause it's only about an inch of travel and call it good. Fully fitted, I'm in the middle of my travel. This thing has just as much flex as it should or shouldn't. I'm actually flexing the boat when I move it. So yes, there you go. That works. I hope somebody gets to enjoy that someday. Um, super cool. I can't believe it happened. If you like that, like, subscribe. I have a ton of these videos in a playlist. I'll link up there and I will see you on the next one.